So here's a mind-blowing, unexpected spark phone. Spark phone? Spartan. Remember the Spartans? No, me either. It's called the Power 5, and I think it's gotta be the biggest battery smartphone I've ever featured here on Unbox Therapy. I'm pretty sure, I don't know. Week-long battery life on a smartphone. 30 plus hours of screen on time. 300 hours of standby time. It packs a 13 thousand, 13,000 milliamp hour battery inside. If I ever have to go out into the wilderness or something, or I have to zombie apocalypse takes place, I can quickly grab any phone that's fully charged. I could reach for 13,000 milliamp hour. Whenever I say something like that to people, I'm like, zombie apocalypse, the towers are down. The cell towers are down. You forget. Treasure maps, and you have a flashlight. Maybe you got an audio book to pass the time before the zombies approach. It's also got an 18 by 9 screen. Give me the resolution. Hilly do da day. FHD plus 1080p display. It's an LCD display. I already know that. Six gigs of RAM. That's nothing wrong with that. I had the resolution right there. Will. Sheesh. Will, what do you say? You want to take over the video at this point? Will says no. You got to deal with me. Okay, cool. A uh, dual rear camera, which what's going on with the rear cameras? The fake bokeh effect. It's bogus. We'll see how it performs. Uh, how much is this, Will? 270 bucks. You think about how many iPhones you could slam in here. You'd have a, give me an iPhone 8 battery size. 1800 milliamp hours. So how many iPhone 8s is this device right here? Let the people know, Will. It's time for Unbox Therapy Math Class. Six or seven, what are you going with? You know you could do the math. It's seven. There are seven iPhone 8s inside of here. If you're just doing a one-to-one, -one, that's bananas. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. It is not just a phone, it's a weapon. Ta! Oh, it has a case on it by default. Oh, I see. That's what the phone looks like without the case. That is not real leather, but there's a little texture to it. You can see the camera up there. They give you a free case. Oh, it has wireless charging. That's kind of nice. The fingerprint scanner on the side of the device where your thumb goes. Speaker unit at the bottom, as well as USB type C. Screen protector in the box. An adapter for audio, which is kind of weird. You would assume they could put a headphone jack in the thing. There's gotta be space in there somewhere. There's also an adapter here from type C to micro USB. This could be used, I suppose, to charge up other devices, right? Or transfer data. The Power 5, powered by Android app, drawer here. I mean, the icons seem a little bit bigger. It's a stock experience basically though. That's definitely not the worst we've seen. It's not super bright. Jack can probably get a better idea of it. I had low expectations, but it's pretty decent. Here's the charging cable, USB type C. Ooh, various ear tips. Very important that you get the right fit. The sound is firing out of the bottom here and also out of the back a little bit. You can really muffle it. It has no base to it. I'm trying to get to the $270 price point, which kind of makes sense. I get that fingerprint. Here we go. They've put it a little lower than you might expect. Not the fastest I've ever seen. I do wish it was a touch faster. This is for people who are gonna be away from a wall outlet for a while. It's heavy too. Pocket test. Actually, you know what? If you're used to carrying a big phone already, this is not such a huge jump. Thing's gonna stop a bullet, to be honest. Honestly, even just lying in bed or something, just watching content, this is gonna get heavy. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna tell the ladies? The phone is too heavy? Your arm hurts? All right, now an area I'm a little concerned with is the camera area. Ooh, you know what? One of the better images I've seen. That's weird. I did not expect this. You can see Hilly Hoo Ha over there. It's pretty good. Now, granted, it's got this dual lens setup, which I'm pretty sure is fake. If you look closely at this secondary lens, the thing is not even properly centered. Yeah, so if you go to the blur mode, which you would assume is using this secondary lens in some way, you just see this blur slider, which is like, that's not how this thing works. It's just garbage, to be honest. Ooh, that's fine. Vibrant. Jack, can you see it? Blammo. I mean, that's, I mean, that's green. The image is not that bad. I think it's taking better photos than the Blackberry did. I do have to mention right at this point, look at the Wi-Fi signal there. Like when's the last time it dipped to halfway? I think that antenna is hidden in there, deep in the caverns. Your reception is gonna be affected. Ah! 
maybe a bit better than, than I thought it was gonna be based on the preview. Obviously, it's not the best, but you make your mental adjustment for the price. What are your options, man? If you're out there looking for something with a battery of this size, seven iPhones you'd be carrying, can you imagine how many movies you could watch on here on an airplane or something? This fingerprint scanner, very convenient location, but if your palm is hitting it and it's failing, then when you go to use it, it'll say too many attempts, try again later, and then you're back to your pattern. If it was a button, then it would know immediately if it was an intended input or not. That's 270 bucks. This thing is actually a real 13 13,000 plus milliamp hour device. I'm glad these type of weird devices exist because why not? Start some conversations with that, right, Will? You go on a date, the ladies are like, man, that guy's got a big phone. This episode of Unbox Therapy has been brought to you by Marshall and the new Major 3 Bluetooth headphones that feature 30 plus hours of wireless playtime. Jack, you know what that means? That means we could go from here, Toronto, to Japan and back on the same charge. You've also got other technologies like APTX for low latency and better quality Bluetooth transmission to go along with the 40 millimeter tuned drivers inside of here. Inside the box, you will see the headphones in their portable fashion. Look at that, they are foldable. How small is that? Also, a wired audio cable coiled. If you choose to use them wired, you can. All right, another unique feature on these headphones, this golden control knob here, which at first looks like a standard button, but actually works in multiple directions for skipping tracks, raising and lowering volume, playing, pausing, picking up phone calls, and so on. So thanks again to Marshall for supporting the show. If you wanna support us, go click the link in the description and check out the Major 3 from Marshall.